So what do you get when you mix nature, adventure, some interesting people, and four-wheel drives? Four-wheel drive to the max! This is the Leeuwenkloor venue near Hartepierspoor Dam where six teams have gathered to do battle against each other amidst the splendid African bush and a few snakes and ticks and so on. The teams will use Toyota's latest Hilux and Fortuna models and the challenges will include driving tests between poles which are crowned with plastic golf balls and there will be grumpy marshals with red flags, some speedy driving tests, physical challenges that may cause some heart palpitations and this is all topped off with a sprinkling of brain teasers. Some teams will manage to accumulate points, while others, in typical South African fashion, focus more on debt reconciliation. So if your team lands up in the bottom two and also accrue the most votes, it's the end of the road for that team. Time to meet those teams, and it's a bit like a packet of licorice all sorts. My name's Kirsty, and this is my dad. My name is Randy. And we are Team Short. Why have second place when we can have first place? <laughs> Well, second place is also first position of all the losers. We are up against some guys that are pretty good. <laughs> so uh, you just make sure you don't fall far behind. I'm very worried, eh? <laughs> I'm Nikki and this is Johan and our team name is Villa Villa. To be fair, we would vote out the one that's the weakest. We really want this to be a real challenge. So we really want to compete against someone that's good. I actually don't like the fact that we need to vote out people. I'm really worried. I don't know what you think about voting out people. It's going to put us on the spot. I think we're supposed to go all the way. No voting. Because <laughs> now what are you going to vote? The worst, the biggest, which one? My name is Tepo. And my friend Bipilo. Our team is Kopi. Make sure that we don't go home today. We're gonna finish the whole exercise. So okay. we're gonna show them. No crying. Gonna show them. Mm -hmm. No crying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm afraid of snakes. No, there's no snakes here. <laughs> we are inside here. We're gonna show them. Eh? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> My name is Gustav. That was very formal. I'm Saki, <laughs> old boys. That's us. <laughs> yeah, Saki, I'm worried about these nature and environmental questions. I'm not David Attenborough. David who? Does he drive? I know David pulled out in F1. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Irene Noel. I am Michelle Habig. And, and we are the Twisted Sisters. Twisted. I don't think we're concentrating on our threat. I believe that we are going to concentrate on our game plan. It's going to be interesting. Remember precision, because we have two very strong 4x4 teams. Sussing them out this morning, Saki and Gustav, and um, Johan and Nikki. Sounds like they have They're a going. lot of experience. Yeah. Well, my name is Philip Tikana. I'm Paul Skosana, and our team name is Team Soweto. I know a bit of 4x4. But some of the things that we're going to do, like canoeing, I, I think is like a bit difficult. I'm not used to that. Yeah. I can swim, but uh, I'm not a good swimmer. Let's see how it goes. Let's enjoy it. Right. Time to get down and dirty as we head to challenge number one. We get the show off the road with a technical test. Teams have to contend with narrow gates, axle twisters, and a few more surprises. This is the first obstacle of the series and the route master, Daniel Boboza, is giving a briefing behind me. It's about to get real. We have a series of obstacles lined up for you. To keep this fair, we're going to utilize the same vehicle and to ensure that you obviously don't cheat and get to see the track before your time, everybody will be basically positioned here. So the second we hand the vehicle over to you, it is in your control, you are liable for the vehicle settings thereof. Does that make sense? Each vehicle will have a driver and somebody called a radar. If you don't know what a radar is, it's the person that sits next to you that shows Rayi, radar. You as a team can decide if the radar is going to sit in the vehicle 
or exit. Not a racing event, but more a technical event. Good luck. Good. Don't need luck, we're good. Ah, it's any golfer's dream. Golf balls everywhere you look. Team Old Boys are first up, and the experienced crew works out a cunning plan of action. So this is the first team on the first obstacle. We left the car in two-wheel drive, so if they cannot figure that out, they're not going to get very far. The wily old foxes are not going to be caught up that easy. But the course is very tight, and even the experienced old boys engage in some golf balls uh, relocation. Wheels in the air, Saki grips that lovely leather-covered steering wheel as tightly as if it was a can of petrol. Cake for your rat! And Gustav... Oh, wa watch out for the pole, Gustav! Watch! Oh, Gustav! There's others net nip 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 they swear. Four by four guru Johan and general manager Nikki are next. Johan is wise to the window and four wheel drive trap. Okay, swear from my talk here, my on your kind. And after singing his praises, it's Paul. Yes, for by Achter. Remember, these teams have never driven this Hilux on a track like this. So the teams that adapt faster to the dimensions and grip and turning circle should theoretically do better. Johan's experience is telling. And he turns the Hilux into a Yaris and aims quite brilliantly through the narrow gates. Looks like Johan and Nikki are well on their way to pipping Saki and Gustav to the line. Or maybe not. Um, you come up Okay, so really not. Well done. Well done. 13, they call themselves Team Soweto. The co driver's name is interesting. His name is Paul, but he's not a Baptist. No, oh, it's tight, tight, tight. Philip and Paul, who is not a Baptist, line up next. You got this one. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, three windows. Oh, dear. Three windows. <laughs> oh dear. So that's any chance of a win on this obstacle out of the uh, window. And that's another fallen golf ball. It touches. Yeah. We clear this side. Another one. Oh, dearie, dearie me, and another one. Yo, go to that side, sorry. That side, that side. Touched. Well, that's a lot of points lost. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes, man. Well done, <laughs> Mr. Vico. I was hoping that you were going to pick up that whole safety thing. You started it. I minus, started it. So. I, I, I spoke about it, and then it just went. Uh, the car was because, off, and then we had I mean, to oh, fix other things. Yeah. You are so well skilled. We all know this. We're back at Leeuwenkloof, and it's time for sisters Irene and Michelle to teach the boys a few things about golf balls. Remember, if you touch a pole and just the ball falls off, but the pole's not too affected, you only lose five points. If you continue to drive and the pole then bends, you then lose 20. Okay, I think that's good. The ladies are set, 
and off Stop they go. Stop car. Okay, four windows. Ah, four the windows. Ladies have fallen for Shit. Daniel's evil trap. Four windows. It can only get oh, better God. from here. Okay, I mean, you gotta think. Do you wanna drive? Do you wanna drive? Okay, start time, continue. This may be a brilliant save for the ladies, with the advanced driving instructor showing the way and the novice driver behind the wheel. Let's see how this pans out. Penalty. Let's go that way. Michelle, watch that one. Stop, 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 stop. Your wheel. Oh, Penalty. This way. Oh, oh. That's fine, it's all greedy. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good, by the way. <laughs> I was getting for those balls over there. They had literally about 10 seconds left to finish, so they had to do it. I was like, get out of my way. You did good, babe. You did good. Time for friends Teppo and Boy Pello to get down to business. Remember, we've got five minutes to do this. So it's not a race, eh? At the same token, you can't have lunch. For some reason, the heart started to pump. Boom, 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 boom. And they are... Horse time! Oh no. Four windows! Not two windows. <gasps> we ask you, you see? This looks like it may be entertaining. Let's ride with Teppo and Boy Pelo. I'm supposed to be outside. <laughs> I can't see that one. Where was he? Penalty! We're driving over it, ne? Two minutes left. It's a fail. You can see the one again. Thirty seconds left. Okay, he's made it. Well done. <laughs> Stop. That was quite a ride. Finally, Team Shaw, who only has a short 4x4 crash course before the event in the experience quiver. Horse time. Three windows. Your window is supposed to be half up. Three windows. Ah, some more victims for Daniel's roll of honor. Hopefully they remembered the four-wheel drive selection trick. He hasn't engaged four-wheel drive yet. It's still on two-wheel drive. There's no pull to the front wheels. Where's the other ball? I can't see it. We already knocked it. Okay. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, it's fine. This whole section you've been driving in two wheel drive. Okay, well done on the adjustment. Finally, Daniel lets them in on the secret. And things oh, certainly yeah, improve yeah. on the traction department. Another one? <laughs> Um, and as for the golf balls, well, many of them are still attending trauma counseling. Penalty! 30 seconds left! With four seconds left. This thing wasn't down. Somebody <laughs> yeah, this thing down. Yeah, you, you <laughs> drove over it <laughs> 10 love. <laughs> I must be honest, you guys got the furthest in 4x2. I mean, that's an achievement. You know what I mean? The old boys dominated the test, losing just 25 points. Three teams ended up with negative scores. Now let's see if some of the teams can turn their fortunes around. Time for some nature oriented questions. We kick off with an easy one. What is a group of giraffe called? I don't know. Let me help. A plantation? A, mm. a pod? <laughs> and I know this. Isn't it like a... Um, no. 
It's not a giggle of joy. <laughs> Crash. I don't know. Come on, Philip and Paul, you can do it. A club. Ah, it must be a club. Oh wait, no. It's not a club, it's it's a tower. What is the coldest country in the world? Oh, I know this one. It's Sutherland. Greenland. Russia. Russia. Never heard Russia. of it. Must be Russia. What do you call the offspring of a male lion and a female tiger? A cub. Male lion. Cubs. Must be a cub then. Cub. I'll give you a hint, it's the two names combined. Um, or maybe not. Nope. Nope, nothing. Mm -mm. Okay. L um, Lime, li Ligris. Time. What was the name of the South African doctor that performed the first heart transplant in the world? Chris Barnard. Chris Barnard. Chris Barnard. Hooray for that! <laughs> How long can a snail sleep? Three years. Oh, blimey, she snailed it. Because it comes out at night. You should say 12 hours. Time. Okay. Go 12 hours. <laughs> 48 hours. I don't know. I don't have never. I don't know. What is the smallest country in the world? Um. Go on, Randy, you can do it. The Vatican? Monaco? No, no, it's, it's, it's Monaco or Liechtenstein. It could also be the Roman Catholic. Um, uh, uh, go, go with Monaco. What type of animal holds hands while they sleep? It's an animal that lives in water. It'll be a good starting point if the teams figure out what animal that lives in water actually has hands. Whales? Maybe, no, maybe otters, I don't know. Yes, Zeppo, hands, man, hands. Dolphin. Dolphins. Oh, dolphin. Dolphins? Dolphins. <laughs> Dolphins with hands, Michelle? Hmm. Penguins. What is the loudest animal on Earth? A hint is that it's about four centimeters long. It's a little bloody shrimp that eats the... It's, it's got... Uh, I don't Pistol know... Shrimp. It's, it's a pistol shrimp. That's I knew that, of course. I think it's a marsupial. I don't know the name. <laughs> it's not a lion. It's <laughs> yes. Mm-mm. <laughs> Yo, Nia! <laughs> Must be a bag. So a... Time. A what bag? What is the deadliest animal in the world? Come there. Snake. <laughs> uh, lion. Hippo. Hippo. This is a trick one. I know this one. It's a mosquito. I think it's a lion. A mosquito. They kill more people, so it must be a mosquito. Deadliest. What is the fastest sea animal? Shark, I don't know. Don't forget the dolphins. No, it must be a dolphin as well. No, but an eel oh. as well faster. A dolphin. Okay. Oh, I asked not with them. Dolphins. Come on, Seppo. Fish? No, it's what? called a uh, fish, and I've watched it, and it's always in cartoons. <laughs> cartoons. <laughs> it's very Time. fast. Finding Nemo. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Barracuda. <laughs> Shellfish. What animal is the most poached and trafficked in the world? Rhino. Oh. Oh. Ten out of ten. I vote for dolphins. Rhino. Pangolin. I, I don't know. Final answer? Pangolin. Pangolin. Rhino. White rhino. I think elephant. No. What about? Um, okay, let's go. Rhino. Rhino. Elephant. Which? Rhino. King. Rhino. 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 What animal will watch its offspring fight to the death without intervening? It's a lion. Dolphins. Oh my goodness. Eagle. Really? Yeah. Because there's an only one animal? that leaves. It's a bird. It's still an animal. Okay. Go for it. Eagle. 
monkeys, buffalo, eagles, my mother. <laughs> hey, she's gonna. <laughs> it, 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 it's only a joke. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. Time. Uh, leopard. What part of a cat is unique, as individual as a human's fingerprint? Uh, is it whiskers? I think it's a, a wild it's cat. Paw. It's a cat. Okay, it's paw then. <laughs> it's paw print. Maybe the paws, I don't know. Is it a claw? The paw? It's, it's, it's a face pattern. Yeah. yeah. It's facial pattern. Yo, just, oh <laughs> yes. my word, no man, <laughs> yes, no. Big <laughs> Yo. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Old boys ruled the roost again, with Team Short making up for their dismal 4x4 performance by claiming second position. Two teams managed to score a total of, well, zero points. Challenge three it is, and it's all about hitting the target. The next challenge, I've got with me a BSA air rifle, which is deadly at 250 meters. So they can either shoot from where I'm sitting, which is 20 meters from the target, or they can walk 10 steps or 10 meters towards the target and use a keti. Comfortable? Can I go? The sisters have opted for the air rifle and that's a hit. Bullseye. Oh, that was, yeah, see that one missed, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Two pellets to go, and Michelle is taking over. How, how far was that? I don't know. I couldn't see where it landed. How was that? Oh, it was right. Right? Yes. All right, I think I'll close my eyes there. There you go. <laughs> It was so bad. <laughs> ah, the unstoppable old boys are up next. Top right. right. Miss. Top right. Top right. Miss. Steeds rechts. Nog steeds rechts. Sucky seems convinced that the target has relocated itself. No hit. Exactly where you did aim. Come lower. to the left about an inch. There you go. Bullseye. Buddy. Exactly in the same spot again. And the old boys bag some solid, but not Bulls great eye. points. Seppo used to be a soldier and I was a member of the him. police's VIP protection unit. No so hit. if anyone should be able to hit this target, Bulls it eye. should be Seppo. Two. Bullseye! Yeah. Sharing is caring, and Seppo hands the air rifle over to Boy Pelo so she can also have a go. There we go. Okay, but now you need to see. But it happens to be a fraught idea, and the go former left. army man takes the last shot and <laughs> nails it. Bullseye! <laughs> ah, it's the American sniper Bullseye. himself, also known as Kyle Becker. No oh no, wait, it's Johan Becker. <laughs> Bullseye! What? No, no one even going to try the slingshot. IT specialist Renly takes a no miss. Hit. He gets close, but no cigar. So he hands the rifle over to Kirsty, who's clearly never watched American Sniper before. Bullseye! Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind no that hit. she missed the last shot. That one hit may prove vital in the point no standings. Hit. No hit. Paul and Philip are our last contenders. No, I can't see any. <laughs> it's a refresh, right? Oh, yeah. But unfortunately, the lads from Team Soweto are not quite no sniper hit. material yet. And will never no be. Hit. For once, the old boys did not take the win. Instead, Team Vildevilla came out on top, followed by Team Scorpio with an excellent recovery from the previous round. Episode 1 is finished. So we're going to announce who's top performing and who's going home. So please may I have the scores, ma'am. So the top performing team is the old Bali's on my the left. The old boys amassed a handy 260 points, but they will now also have a target on their backs. And at the bottom is Philip and Paul. 
and Tepo and Bipilo. So can I have either one? <laughs> oh, Philly! On my side. Oh. And so the remaining teams have to decide now who's being eliminated. Please may I have the voting pads? We're gonna give the teams a little bit of a moment to decide somebody's fate. The competitors now have to write down the name of the team they want to vote out of the competition. Time to reveal, ladies and the loving couple. All bullies, please show hey guys, us who's going flip, home. A coin flip. And then our final decider, father and daughter team. Tepo and Bipilo are going home. The challenge was oh. good and also <laughs> I was like, okay, if I put her on the ground and she won't have that feeling of the twisting and the turning of the vehicle, I was like, no, let's gamble, man. We can't be on the ground and, and, and direct me. Let's have it a feeling. But it was nice. It was too tight, but it was nice. I'm glad that I was in the car. That was an experience, yeah. So that's the end of the line for Tsepo and Boy Pelo as they bid farewell to the other five remaining teams and embark on their long walk well, back to their own car. So folks, as you can see, all the points matter. And unfortunately for Tsepo and Wipilo, they lost points where it mattered most on the 4x4. Next week, we up the challenges and two more teams get to go home. So it's getting really exciting. See you next week. Shop shop.